This is Sealand de Bravo, a natural reserve, preserved thanks to Huawei, Sea Mines, and Yucatan government. So come with me because I'm going to show you everything here. From all the wild animals here, plants, everything. This is beautiful. This is nature. We're going to take a boat to the natural reserve. We're going to see what Huawei is doing with the government to preserve the species, to preserve the nature, to preserve the jungle. It's amazing. We were talking on the way here about everything that they are doing and it's incredible. So you're gonna love it. Come with me to this incredible adventure. So we just arrived to Sayachulev. This is where we are gonna go to the natural reserve. We're taking a boat. This is going to be really interesting. Me salgo también. Oh shit. No. What was that? Que se cayó. Hasta que llegas a tu casa. Okay, so unfortunately we lost the microphone. It went into the water, but we were able thanks to Darwin. Thanks to Darwin. He saved us. So now we have audio because we washed it. It's waterproof. I hope so. <laughs> and now we're ready. Okay, so right now we are heading towards a site inside the coastal lagoon here in Tilam de Bravo, where it's a site where birds and crocodiles and other species uh, come to nest and to rest and to eat. Um, so we're hoping to install some camera traps there and to see what's happening. Okay, so in order to get here we jumped. Well, I jumped. They told me we are gonna get wet in some part of the trip, but so far I'm still dry. It is highly important at Huawei to collaborate with the government, the civil society, the academy, and the community. We want to help building a sustainable world with Tech for Nature. That is part of our Tech for All project that is one of the most important nature projects in the region, in which we contribute with our technologies, bringing it closer to environmental and impactful social projects. Okay, so we weren't expecting this, but this is awesome. This is the cherry on the cake. We're in the middle of the jungle. It feels amazing. I feel connected with nature. How's the texture of what you're walking? Uh, it's a little bit like sand. Actually, it's sand, it's sand. I'm about to lose my shoes. So, if you can see, we are right now here in an ecosystem called mangroves. The color of the water is not because the water is dirty or something like that, it's the tannins of the same mangrove. You can breed a 100% pure hair and we had a lot of biodiversity here. Is that sand? The tan is, yes, the, the red color. Have you fallen in the sand? Huh? Have yes. you fallen? A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's regular. It's regular. Okay. And you come alone here at least one, once in the month. Whew. How was that? Amazing. I feel in the nature. I'm in the danger. Are you a little bit wet now? No, yeah, just a little bit. Nothing that... To worry about. My, yeah, 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 this is no problem. This is a deer. Okay. And okay. this one is kind of higher. Maybe a polar red peccary. How did the collaboration with Huawei Tech for Nature, Sea Mines, and Yucatan start? It? We started speaking with Sea Mines and, of course, with Huawei about the opportunity to have Tech for All as an umbrella project and to have the pilot here in Yucatan to try to develop a project about how to bring technology inside the jungle and have all the data inside the jungle. That's how we started, just in a small, small dialogue. The water is hot here. We are about 37 Celsius degrees. Okay, so that bird up in the sky is a black hawk. 
here you can see how it looks and it's located in this region it's all across the country but now we are here and this is the exact sound they make What is the biggest challenges when you're implementing this project? To achieve that somebody invest in nature. This is the, the mainly concern of the state and Huawei will thank Huawei to be in the, the one of the first ones to, to invest inside nature in Yucatan. <laughs> So we're gonna try the water. This is fresh water. Fresh water? Yes. Okay. Jaguars come here to have water sometimes. Now we don't see footprints, but they often come here. So Toshi. You just, just taste it. Put, it, put your hand Toshi like says it. we can and, taste it, so I trust Toshi. And don't drink the water, just do. Exactly. Okay. You feel it's not salty? Yeah, yeah it's not salty. It's, yeah. You can wash your hands. It's good. Yeah. So now we are on our way to install a camera where they will track and record all animals around here, birds, jaguars, monkeys. They are not just filming animals, they are also recording their sounds. This is all possible thanks to C-Minds, Huawei and the government of Yucatan. This is a camera trap, uh, one of the devices that we install here at the reserve. Uh, camera traps activate with movement and heat and they take a picture or a video depending on how you configure it. Um, so this camera is located here because here we can see that there are some uh, places where animals can walk through and probably you can see them walking through the camera here. The thing with camera traps is that they take a lot of photos and video depending on a any movement. It could be the wind movi moving the, the leaves or animals crossing so sometimes you can end up with I don't know 100 photos good photos of animals or 5,000 photos including um, shadows including leaves including anything that can be movement. We will come here in a month or so to collect it and see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the boat, my friends. This was a unique and grateful experience. So let's go back to the boat. So now we're having a typical Yucatan Peninsula group at the seaside. I have some fish. Here we have some shrimps, tostadas, the real tostadas. It's really good. My friends, thank you for joining me in this incredible adventure. I hope you liked the video. Thank you everyone. Come to Yucatan. See you soon.